Alright, so after months of waiting and all the false rumors, finally, we have here the iPad Pro 11-inch with the new M4 chip. Hey guys, it's your Tech Girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is probably your most requested tablet review the past few days. And yes, the new iPads are finally here. Hindi lang yung iPad Pro but the iPad Air as well. So abangan nyo rin yan on the following days. So before getting into details, it's worth noting that I haven't had a week of using the new iPad Pro. So yes, I can't really assess things like durability, which is also what I'm curious about given kung gaano siya kanipis ngayon. So even though I had a short period of time, I guess it's already enough for me to do a first impression sa video at least para man lang makatulong din ako sa inyo since alam kong marami na rin gustong makabili. Okay, so let's set aside accessories first. Unahin natin yung iPad Pro. You will notice na mas makapal siya doon sa mga unboxing videos that you guys have seen. And since I got my unit from the Apple Store in Hong Kong, may kasama po siyang power brick. And this is how the power brick looks like. So if ever you are buying your iPad Pro from UK or Europe, so wala na po siyang power brick pag ganun. Tapos mas manipis na lang yung box nun. So cable na lang po na ganito yung kasama. And if nano texture version naman ng iPad Pro yung bibili nyo, may kasama siyang Apple polishing cloth. Now for the cable, since I opted for the silver iPad Pro, I got it in white. So if space black naman yung bibili nyo, mapa 11 inch man yan or 13 inch, you will get the black one. Now for the Apple Pencil Pro, as you can see, iba na rin yung packaging niya. I got one out of six designs. I opted for the purple one. Wala lang, ito lang yung pinaka nag-appeal sa akin. But the actual Pencil Pro ay pare-pareha lang po yung itsura. Box lang talaga yung iba-iba. Now for the Magic Keyboard, nothing special about the packaging. It's just the same. Pero syempre, yung itsura ng keyboard mismo ay iba. From which you will see later on. Okay, so new designs. So the iPad Pros with the M4 chip are now slightly thinner. Not just that, also lighter than the previous iPad Pro. So yung big model na to, again, I have the 11 inch. Yung 13 inch, it used to be 12.9 inch. So it's 0.1 bigger now. Hindi lang yon, binago rin nila yung placement ng selfie camera. And lastly is, of course, we now have an OLED display. Na before I mini LEDs kung tawaget. Aside from the size and weight reduction, wala masyadong binago si Apple dito. Pwera na lang yung rear camera niya na dating dalawa na ginawang isa na lang. It's 12 megapixels and yes, it's the ultra wide camera that they removed. So beside the single standard camera is the LiDAR sensor. It also has a redesigned True Tone flash. Actually, yung removal ng ultra wide lens is really fine by me. Previously kasi yung iPad Pro ko, I never get to use the ultra wide lens. Unless na lang kung yung iPhone na gamit mo is from the past generation. Dito talaga magiging useful yung cameras ng iPad Pros. Meanwhile, just like what I mentioned earlier, yung front-facing camera natin na nasa landscape edge na, meaning you can actually do video calls when the iPad is on the keyboard dock. Hindi na masyadong awkward tignan, lalo na doon sa kausap mo sa video call. That's the reason why yung second generation na Apple Pencil ay hindi nagagana dito. Again, it is because of the placement of the magnets. Ngayon, kung gusto nyong makatipid and don't wanna get the Pencil Pro, you can opt for the USB-C Apple Pencil. So, you are probably wondering, gaano ka significant yung pagbabago sa kapal and weight niya. Actually, ito rin yung tinatanong ko sa sarili ko when they launched it a few weeks ago. Since this is an iPad and the way I use an iPad is somehow similar to the way I use my smartphone, this is meant to be picked up. And to me, the 444 grams and reduction of thickness 
actually makes a huge difference in terms of my experience. Mas komportable at mas madali na siyang gamitin ngayon, lalong-lalo na without the magic keyboard. Siyempre, labas dito yung durability concerns nyo, from which, again, I haven't tested yet. Now, performance. Actually, until now, nagugulat pa din ako considering that this device I have right now is the most powerful tablet I ever had. If you remember, the Apple M3 chip is not yet a year old. And now we have the Apple M4 powering their iPad Pros. So yup, they skipped the M3 chip from M2 to an M4. Now, another question that you are probably asking, hindi ba masyadong overkill yan? To be honest with you, there are, I think, two types of iPad users. Depende na lang to kung saan kayo, then maybe that's how you can decide if you should get the new iPad Pros. If you want a convenient way of reading the news or sending your emails, browsing the web, social media, usage, yung mas malaking version, and at the same time, you like binge-watching Netflix. If you're that type of person, which I am included, ganun lang ako gumamit ng iPad Pro, then definitely this device is an overkill. I think you are better to get instead the iPad Air or even the new based iPads. So I don't really recommend for you to splurge on a tablet kung ganun lang din naman yung mga task na ginagawa nyo everyday. Now, another type of a tablet user is for those who are looking or have an iPad-specific feature that really matters to them. Musicians, filmmakers, or designers. During the Apple event, they said that this M4 chip is up to 50% faster than the M2. At the same time, yung GPU niya is up to 4 times faster and mas advanced daw real-time yung graphics work niya. At the same time, since we are already talking about yung performance niya, during the Apple event, I think Apple is saying that they are aiming for up to 10 hours of screen on time. And for my experience, since I got the normal size iPad Pro, considering that we are gaming a lot and editing a lot of videos on this iPad lately, since again, we are reviewing it, the overall screen on time falls at 6 hours. Now, for the display, actually everything is bright, vibrant, and sharp. Mapa editing ng photos, browsing the web, or even playing games. It's probably the best display I've seen on a tablet so far. It also has the usual high end features for a pro tablet, including the ProMotion, True Tone Color Temperature Adjustment, Support 4P3 Wide Color Gamut, and again, an OLED display. And since we are already talking about the display, I got the normal iPad Pro. They actually have two options for the display glass. If ever you are opting for the 1TB or 2TB version, you can either get it on this standard display or yung nano texture version. I have nothing much to say since hindi ko pa siya na experience. Ang sabi nila, hindi lang siya basta basta fingerprint resistant and anti reflective. It's also more convenient in terms of drawing and sketching. But one thing I don't like about the nano texture is yung lack of colors. Mas magiging less saturated kasi yung display ng tablet nyo pag nano texture yung binili nyo. But if hindi naman yun issue sa inyo, then maybe you could consider getting one. Now, what about the OS? So, yung mga bagong iPads ngayon comes with the iPad OS 17. So, yes, no new version yet, but most of the time, we get the sneak peek of the new iPad OS during their WWDC and this usually happens every June. Kaya yung ibang iPad users then ay hindi pa nag upgrade is because nagaantay talaga sila ng bagong update. So from the time being, out of the box, naka iPad OS 17 siya. Now when it comes to updates or even longevity, ang pagkakalam ko parang just like iPhones, matagal rin natin pwedeng magamit yung iPads natin for as long as hindi siya masisira. And typically, hindi nagpa-promise si Apple kung hanggang ilang taon nila kayang ibigay yung updates. So hindi sila nagbibigay ng concrete or exact number unlike Samsung. But if we were to base it on history, malamang sa malamang up to 5 years yan. 
Okay, so now it's time to talk about the accessories. Ito yung pinaka inaabangan ko dito sa video na to. So what's new about this keyboard? Obviously, yung base niya is now aluminum, which makes the typing experience more similar to a MacBook. They added this function row, which is why mas lesser na rin yung space dito sa taas. Personally, I think yung Magic Keyboard is the best option to get. Although I know there will be third-party keyboards that will come out soon. Kadalasan talaga yung brand na naglalabas na best option as well is Logitech. But now since wala pa, the best option again is the new Magic Keyboard for the new iPad Pro. And by the way, this is only exclusive for the M4 iPad Pro. So etong bagong Magic Keyboard hindi pwedeng gamitin sa mga lumang iPads and vice versa. Yung lumang Magic Keyboard hindi rin pwedeng gamitin sa bagong M4 iPad Pro ngayon. Now for the Pencil Pro, actually um maraming bago sa kanya that I find it really worth it. And kung gusto niyo ng mas specific and kumpleto, meron akong IG reel na ginawa. So I will be linking it down below. But ito lang yung mga favorites ko na I want to mention quickly. Instead of double tapping like the previous generation now it takes one squeeze from which by default it brings up the brush picker interface in apps like notes and free form aside from this apple also added a haptic feedback so every time that you will squeeze the pencil you will get a vibration to confirm the action it also has gyroscope built in so that you can do barrel roll so yes it can be as realistic as if you are holding a real pen or a real brush. Lastly, Apple Pencil Pro has the Find My integration, which is easier every time na mawawala nyo yung pencil nyo, which is not impossible. Actually, kadalasan ito yung problema talaga. Now for the official Apple PH pricing. Yung Magic Keyboard, it retails for 19,990 pesos. That is for the 11 inch. And for the Apple Pencil Pro, it's 8,690 pesos. And as of the moment, yung mga official retailers natin like Switch, Beyond the Box, or even um, Power Mac, hindi pa available sa kanila yung mga bagong iPad Pros at the same time yung mga accessories. So the only option right now is through Gray Market. Or, if ever, napupunta kayo ng ibang bansa na may Apple Store. So, for my initial impressions, I would say I really appreciate the tablet. They were able to put all the technology I mentioned on this thin and light device. Siguro, if I were to nitpick na lang na I think is missing on their iPad Pros, is the IP rating. I know, it's a tablet. Before you come at me, it's not a tech you would usually use at the beach. But again, always consider this is a pro device with a very expensive price point. Which is the same feature found on Samsung's latest flagship tablet. Anyway, for me, at the end of the day, I still find this tablet too powerful and too expensive. So if you are in the same boat as me, then you may find this iPad Pro M4 chip a bit too overkill. Buti na lang, there is always an iPad for everyone. Meaning, depende sa klase ng paggamit mo, and of course, sa budget mo, may iPad at may iPad kang pagpipilian. Anyway, if hindi naman issue sa inyo yung price point, and you have all the means to get yourself the latest iPad Pros, sana all, then go get yourself the iPad Pro. Again, it's your Tech Girl Mary, and see you in our next video. Bye!